Hey everyone and welcome to another GTA Online Los Santos Summer Special video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get the special alien outfit and earn yourself an easy $150,000. So when you first load up the game after the update, you probably notice an S on the map. This is Solomon's office and is the first step to unlocking the outfit. Once you head into his office, this will start a scavenger hunt for 10 movie props that you'll have to find scattered throughout the map. And I'm going to be showing you how to get all 10 of them in this video. The first one is located literally right outside of the office. You want to head down these stairs and then look to your left and it'll be right here in this corner. Not very hard to find at all. Prop number two is located in the back of the high heels building. You want to knock out the bouncer and then close the place down so you can have access to the back. And it'll be on top of the desk that is against the wall. The third one is very easy to find. It's in the diamond casino in the restrooms. Now, there are two restrooms in the casino. It's going to be the one with the urinals on the right side, and it's actually going to be next to one of the urinals. For the fourth prop, we're going to head up to Sandy Shores. This one is near the hippie camp, where the UFO is in single player. The fifth movie prop is located west of that location. You'll find it on the porch of this house right here. For this next one, I would advise you to get either a buzzer or an oppressor mark II and use the bribe authorities if you do not own the hangar inside the military base. It's positioned inside the air traffic control tower of Fort Zancudo. Right when you walk in, you'll be able to see it on the top of the cabinet. Prop number 7 is in the altruist camp. You really want to just swoop down and grab it because they will shoot at you if you're out there dawdling around. Alright, so the last three are actually going to be random events that take place in certain areas. Number 8 is going to take place in Pleto Bay. And the way you get this to spawn in is really tedious and really simple at the same time. Basically, you're just going to be flying back and forth through the area. But make sure you get a good distance away each time so that you give the event a good chance to spawn in. When it does finally spawn in, you'll see a blue circle with a vehicle that you have to drive all the way back to Solomon's office. And that's how you do number 8. It's completely RNG as to when it spawns in. There's no specific time of day you have to do this at. All you have to do is basically just go back and forth through Polito Bay and hope it spawns in. It took me about like an hour to get this done for Polito Bay. I had some terrible luck with this one. Number 9 and 10 I'm going to group together because the events are relatively close to each other. One of them is going to take place between Lester's warehouse and the market area that I'm showing on the map right now. So basically you just want to fly in between those two areas, again making sure you leave enough distance each time you pass them for the event to spawn in. I found mine driving on the road in between the two and then from there it's as easy as stealing and driving it to Solomon's office. The other one spawns either at the court center or the Epsilon building. I found mine at the Epsilon building. And for this, it's the same thing. You just want to fly back and forth between the locations until you see the blue dot appear on the map. Then steal the vehicle and bring it back to your warehouse. I know this is a really tedious process. For me, each one took about 15 minutes to spawn in. The Polito Bay one took me way longer, so it really is just RNG. But I highly suggest doing this in an event-only lobby, just so you don't have to deal with trash spawns or someone interrupting your spawn or someone trying to steal your stuff. After you bring all 10 of the props back, Solomon will text you telling you there's a present in his office for you, so you can just go in there, open the box, and claim your prize, which is the alien outfit. On top of that, this quest gives you $150,000 in total, you get $10,000 per prop you bring back, and then $50,000 for completing it, so not bad. Plus, it's not as time consuming as the other treasure hunts were. But that is going to be all for this video. If you guys enjoyed or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like, as well as subscribe to my channel for more guide and PvP related content. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.